Hello everyone, I'm Colin Kinnett. Today I'm embarking on a little bit of an experiment. I've always wanted a little plane that I could plane just the very edges of boards, especially after they've been jointed when they're really sharp, just to take a little bit off. So today I'm experimenting with making a little plane that does just that. Now there aren't any plans for this. Uh, this is just something I'm, I'm making up from pieces that I have uh, and to see how it works. So this block that I'm starting off with, this happens to be beach and it's one and three quarters inches this way and it's two inches up and down. And the block that I'm working with right now is eight inches long. It's way too long, but I want to, I can cut it off later on, but I like to have a little bit longer piece to work with because it's easier to grab onto than smaller pieces. The only other thing that I have, and you probably have some of these laying around, this is an old jointer knife. Uh, and one of the knives in this set got badly damaged. I think it hit a nail. And so now I have only two blades and this one is still quite sharp. So eventually it's going to be sitting down in this angle like this, but I've got quite a bit of work before I get to that. So I'm at the table saw and what I need to do is cut a V groove and you can see these lines here that I've made and the top of that V groove needs to be at this height. And this is going to be, of course, this is at a 90 degree, so 45 on each side. The first thing I want to do is check the angle of my blade with my engineer square, because I want this to be at exactly 90 degrees when I'm finished. And I have a gauge on my saw, but I'm not confident that it's absolutely perfect. So I'm just going to reset it to this square. Now the next thing I need to do is set the blade to the height that I just showed you on the front of that blade and I'm going to go a little bit lower and I may need to make a couple of passes to get that to sit just perfectly. Now that center is going to shoot out of there so I'm standing away from where that's going to come out. Now you can see that's pretty close, but I still need to make a couple more passes because I want a perfect V at the top. There, I just finished that groove and I just put that on the edge of my saw and you can see that's a nice tight fit. That's perfect. Now the next thing I need to do is to make a cut. So the blade is going to sit at an angle, something like that. And I know what the angle of the cut is on these blades and I know what it is on a plane, but what I don't know off the top of my head is what angle the blade sits at and it looks, it's pretty close to 45 degrees. It varies from plane to plane depending on the plane, but it looks like 45 degrees is one angle that will work. So I don't even have to change my uh, blade in my saw. I just need to adjust the depth of it and I'll get my miter gauge out and I'll just make that cut through there because that will fit that blade nicely then. Okay now I'm going to make a couple of 45 degree cuts just wide enough to fit the blade in. So there's what the little edge plane is looking like and you can see if you look at this angle, you can see that the blade is actually buried below the V. And I want that because I'm, the next thing I'm going to do is put some screws in the bottom down here so that I can make this just a little bit adjustable. Okay, I'm getting down to some real fine work here. I don't know if you can even see these little brass screws, but what I want to do is drill a couple of holes in there, and these are going to be my adjustments so that I can move that blade forward. There's sort of where what it's going to look like, uh, and the blade will protrude, protrude down there. So I'm gonna drill those holes and put those screws in.
Okay, that was a little bit of a challenge getting those screws in there, but you can see that they're in there. Okay, one last thing, I want to ease the edges on this, so I'm just going to run that through my router. And the last thing I need to do in order to keep this little bar fastened in there is to drill a couple of holes and I have a couple of screws that I'll drive through there. So I'm just going to work on that right now. All right, now for the moment of truth. I've adjusted that blade so it's just barely protruding through that V. You won't even be able to see that. But uh, anyway, there's a nice sharp edge. Let's see which way the grain's running. It looks like it's going this way. Ooh, that's good. Wow, that's perfect. Yeah, look at the look at the curl you can see there. That's excellent. What a nice little job. Quick and easy. It's that blade's still a tiny bit high. I still might adjust that down a bit, but uh, that looks good. Nice smooth job. There we go. I've always wanted a little edge trimmer. Perfect. Well, that was a fun little project. Didn't take very long to make. A little edge trimmer, and all I used was an old jointer blade that otherwise would have got thrown out. So pretty quick and easy, and it's even a handy little tool. I'm looking forward to using it. I'm Colin Cadet for Woodwork Web. Thanks for watching.